Let's talk about the EPS interaction with the IMS. And EPS interaction means that, as we said before, the IMS user or Vault user, and the words of IMS user and Vault user, so if anyone doesn't understand it that much, this is a person provisioned on Vaulty, which means that this is a person who can make Vaulty calls or voice over LTE calls. He doesn't need to fall back to the CS network. EPS interaction with IMS means that this Vaulty person, and as we know, this is a voice over LTE. So normally, this person will be roaming on an LTE site or 4G site. So this person will access the IMS network by LTE network, but who's specially in LTE network? The EPC or Evolve Packet Core. So the person will go to the EARTRAN and here the EARTRAN is the access network of the 4G networks. And it was composed of a lot of ENOBs. So the first thing that this user does is that he sends his messages under this enode B. Then enode B delivers it to the EPC or Evolve Packet Core. And if you remember, EPC is MME and S Gateway and P Gateway. Now I'm just revising things quickly here so no one gets confused. The EPC is composed, as we said, of MME, S Gateway, and P Gateway. And by EPC, this person sends his messages to the EARTRAN. And after EARTRAN, he went to the EPC, which is the MME, S gateway, and P gateway. So he went through the packet core of the 4G networks. And by this EPC, he can access his IMS network. Now this person, so he can use the Vaulty or IMS network specifically, he sets up a PDN connectivity with the IMS network by the APN of the IMS, all right? By the APN of the IMS, which is inside the PDN gateway. We agreed before that PDN gateway is a group of APNs to any external network. So the internet has an APN called the internet APN and the IMS has an APN called the IMS APN. But in our case, this person wants to make a Vaulty call, but who will enable him to do a Vaulty call? It is the IMS network. So this person will open a PDN connectivity service or EPS Beard with the IMS APN that will allow him to be connected with the IMS network. So the first thing this person will do is what exactly? So he can do a Vaulty call. We need, as we explained um, in the core of the uh, CS, or for you to do a call generally, you need to do some call setup procedures at the beginning. And these setup procedures, as we call it, the signaling messages that this person does before his call initiates. And after you finish these call setup procedures, what happens next? or you as a user experience, let's say you decided to call someone. The call until it connects with you, it takes about three to four seconds. Till you hear the ringing and during these three to four seconds, the signaling messages happen, which are the call setup procedures. And after you connect, you start hearing traffic or media traffic. So you are unable to talk to this B number. Now let's get back to the Vaulty again. So the first thing that this person does is some signaling or his call setup procedures. And after he finishes his signaling, he will start wanting to do some traffic. In Vaulty, so you can do signaling, you need to create something called the default beer, in which we explain in the EPC part. So the first thing the Vaulty subscriber or Vaulty customer does is create the default beer with the IMS APN as he wants to connect with the IMS network. What if this person wants to connect to the internet as he wants to, let's say, do browsing or download? 
he will initiate a default bearer with the internet APN. So as agreed, I have an IMS APN and an internet APN. And of course, there are many APN types, but these are the ones important to us right now. And the function of this default bearer is to transfer this IMS signaling that we're talking about or do the call setup procedures. The default bearer also does the registration signaling. As you can connect on the IMS, you have to first register on IMS. And the signaling is done by the default bearer. So the signaling is done by a bearer or by APS bearer called the IMS signal. And the default bearer of the IMS always has a quality of service we call quality of service number one. Now, quality of service number one means that this bearer has special or specific characteristics like the rate or delay of signal. Uh, could be how much exactly. The packet loss that is allowed in this beer is how much as well. These are all things identified in the quality of service number one. And we also explained this before. Now here in the default beer, this IMS user will take an IP address from the IMS APM. As we said, that any access point name we have has a range of IP addresses, like IP address number one, number two, and number three. Actually, there are a lot of them. And any user who wants to connect with the IMS takes an IP address from the IP addresses in this APM. And by this IP address, he can access the IMS network. So this is the default bearer during the registration of the subscriber, as he already registered on MME. But during his registration on MME, and here I'm talking about the EPC only, as it didn't go near the IMS. But during the uh, MME registration, he states that the purpose of this registration is to be a Volte subscriber or to access the IMS network. So what happens is that during him getting attached on the MME, the user himself requests the address of the proxy CSCF as the first point of contact with the IMS network is the proxy CSCF. So the user can access the IMS. He needs to know the IP address of the proxy. So he requests during the attach on the MME, the IP address of the proxy CSCF. Then by the DNS in the future transactions, he can go directly to the proxy CSCF. Now this person created his bureau and knows where he will send his signaling messages by the default beer, of course. So he wants to start the call. And I will say on this just on a high level, but we'll discuss this in details of front. So once he decides to make the call, the network gives an order to initiate another EPS bearer called the dedicated beer. And the function of this beer is to transfer the immediate traffic from the user to IMS network, then to the other user. And this dedicated bureau has a quality of service different from the quality of service of the default bureau, as this one takes quality of service number five, which has a different priority and has a packet loss delay and specific things more dedicated than the default bureau. And of course, the main function of the dedicated bureau is carrying user or media traffic and carrying it with special characteristics. So this is a high level view of the EPS interaction with the IMS. And as I said, EPS means EARTRAN, uh, EPC, and so the user can access the IMS. He needs to go to the EARTRAN first, which is the E node B, then go register himself on the EPC by the MME, then open a default bureau with the S gateway and P gateway so he can access the IMS. Yeah. 